everybody, it's Michael. Welcome back to Banished Hearse Bourbon. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. We got um, we got some stuff going on in Hearse Bourbon today. We got a trader coming in to uh, to port, which is awesome. Summer of our thirteenth year, and we have how many people here? Uh, math, yeah, that's really uh, hard to do. So twenty three, thirty, ninety people. We got 90 people here. We got no friggin' iron, uh, so I think it's gonna be time to build that mine. I never did. Did I get the town hall built? Yeah, we got the town hall built. Look at that. Look at that. We can see how much stuff we got. I believe that we've got some other things stored over here at the uh, dock now. So we've got some fish, um, iron tools, firewood, venison, ale. All right. So let's get our uh, let's get our trader into port and see what he's got for us. I'll just leave it on slow for now. So we have seven laborers. Uh, food production. Everybody's at full. We have a couple woodcutters that we're not uh, employing at the moment. Uh, we're almost full on our stone cutters over here. Only a couple of traders over there, and only a few vendors, maybe half. So. Still need to get some more people grown up and, and working. Uh, but I think I do want to get a mine built. I think I do, especially since I think I won't trade tools this time. Well, that guy is slow, isn't he? So we have a couple of children born. There he goes. Okay. Hey, buddy, what you got? Berries, mutton squash, pepper, fish, iron tools, firewood, fish, venison, and I don't know, this is what we have. Um, just the food merchant. Well, we don't really need any food, do What I would like is some seeds. Can you bring us seeds, or are you just a food merchant forever? Well, maybe we can sell him some fish. Would you like to buy some fish? Okay, so it's just a pure trade thing. We can't get any money. Alright, I tell you what, buddy. We don't need any food, so thanks for stopping by, though. And let's see. Resource production. A mine. Let's, let's think about a mine here. Where can we put this thing? I know we looked at this last time, but I don't quite know where it should go. Where can it go? It can go back here. You know what? Let's put it back there. That'll be fine. And we'll run a row to it around the edge here. And maybe we can fit in another row of houses. I'm not entirely sure if that'll fit or not. But we need some builders for that. So put them in. And what else do we have going on here? I think we're okay on everything else, honestly. A little low on clothes, a little low on tools, but we're not going to get tools so we get iron. Oh! Oh no! Machiel the Stonecutter was crushed by a rock, and Alien Namari has replaced him. Wow, okay. That's sad. Sad. Okay, we have lots of leather. These guys should, should do fine with that. Um, wow. Our little graveyard here is filling up. Who, who we got in here? We can't actually see who they are. We will need another graveyard before long, though, unfortunately. Very sad, very sad. What are you going to do? Child named Lando. Hey, Lando. Somebody picked a good name there, right? These names are like, where'd y'all get that from? Let's just take that little piece of road away. Can we do that? Just that little piece right there. That's all. Just that one. Right, uh, let's put it up a little faster and let it go. So health is down by a heart, half a heart and the uh, happiness is down by half a star, but I don't think we're going to do anything about that at the moment. Oh, no, I don't... No, 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 no. Okay, I don't want to remove anything. I want to look in here and see what we got going on with the new houses. These houses. Oh, Norman. 
Norman is a confirmed bachelor. He's just hanging out over here all by himself. I can just click without turning those off, can I? Oh, we got room to grow. We got room to grow. Should I build another house, though? Can I build another house, is the question. 40 stone, 10 iron. Mm, yeah, where are we getting that iron from? Are we still picking it up off the ground over here? Yeah, they're getting this iron, okay. So we still have a little bit of iron laying around the ground we can get. They've gotten all of this. So we're just going to take the building slow. We're going to expand a house or two at a time, I think. Try to get our population up. We really need more adults. That's the goal here. We're getting a lot of new kids, so that's fine. And now they want more builders, but we're not going to put more builders on just yet. We really need the laborers to be doing their thing. Farmers are still working on the field. Oh, this guy's not, though. Let's stop work down here. And pop down farmers a little bit. The woodcutter's all done with his work for now, so let's turn him off. Get him doing other things. So we're working on the mine, I guess, over here. Yep, still doing removal. But as soon as they're done with that, we can get building. In which case, I guess we don't need the builders just yet. What are you guys doing? Yeah, let's just get laborers until these guys have brought stuff. It's, it's, that's weird. Okay. That, that little pin doesn't work quite like I'd imagine it would. Okay, they, no, they're still bringing stone, so we can't yet do that. And they're clearing and building stuff over here, so let's just put those over here and we'll keep an eye on them. It's early autumn. Got 4,000 food stored up. And we're actually doing good on iron now. We're back up to 49 iron, so that, that's alright. How's this quarry doing? 88% remaining. Okay, so it's not going to go away anytime soon, but it is going to leave a big pit. Maybe we can just put another one right next to it next time. We might even be able to fit two in here before we're done. It's not going to look good, but what can you do? We need to, we need to sew. thinking about getting rid of this stockpile and expanding this one. Can you expand an existing stockpile, or is it just a new stockpile? That is an answer that I don't have. Okay, we can drop our farmers down. Let's put our builders up to six, and hopefully get these things built before winter, especially this stone house would be nice. Oh, they got a lot of stone piled up over here. I can't see an inventory here, though. Reserve of stone is low. Yeah, of course it is. What do you guys got over here? So they do have logs in here. Logs and iron. Interesting. In the market. I would have thought that would be, like, consumables for people. Dude's got plenty of peaches over there. Looks like we're still working on the peach field. Peach orchard. They've been doing some work over here. That looks weird. <laughs> they built a mountain. It's okay. It's like a Disney ride. All right, did we put a woodcutter back on? Yeah, let's go ahead. It's autumn. I mean, we're not in any kind of shortage for it, but might as well. What is this thing here? Oh, it's like a stock pen. Oh, nice. Okay, well, if anybody ever comes by that has any livestock, we will buy it and put it in there. 
Is this working? No. It is 86% complete, and we're still waiting on enough stone to get that house put together. But it ought to happen soon. And then this guy... He's still doing stuff. I think. We'll leave him there for now. I do think he's still doing stuff. And now we need some miners. Up to 15 miners, huh? Ooh, okay, well let's drop our builders back down, throw on a couple of miners, and we'll see how that goes. Honestly, it looks like we're doing well on all resources. I'm pretty happy about that. Building the stone house now. So let's drop those away. And just keep an eye on things. So Melina has become a student. A new child named Oreo was born. Let's turn it up. Let's fast forward through the winter here. Hopefully we don't have any catastrophes. Um, I'm going to put another woodcutter on though. And our farmers... Yeah, you're, you're not doing anything down here. Let's just turn that down. And put that off line. This is what I was confused about. I forgot I had another cornfield down here. So there we go. A fisherman died of old age and Arles has replaced him as the fisherman. Arles didn't Arles have a job already? I think he did. We are burning through the firewood so I'm going to turn that up to all three guys. Got our house here. We got two people living in it. Ralphon and Dannon. They're both stone cutters. Erod and Wilhelmina are stone cutters. These guys are stone cutters. Stone cutters. The stone cutter district over here. How many people do we have? We have 12, 1, 2, 3. Okay. You know, we could probably put another house down here. All right, you stone cutters want to cut some stone for this? A nice new stone house for somebody to live in. Put a couple builders on duty. Um, well, our iron supply has gone up pretty good. So is our alcohol. Okay, a couple new students. Uh, what are we at now? So that's 80, 95 people. So I guess we've had five additions. And that's counting two losses, so a net gain of five. Not bad. Reserve stone is low. Yep, yeah, expected that. But that's all right. We got 12 people digging it up. And somebody's going to get this fine new stone model home over here. You don't, what, have enough stuff? It says there's 21 peaches there. How many peaches are in the entire community? Okay, you've got all the peaches. So all the peach goes into making alcohol. Seems legit. I feel like maybe we should build another orchard over here. I was really hoping for, like, apple or something next time we get a trader in. But traders don't seem to be bringing, they're just bringing usable goods. They're not really bringing, I don't know, they're not really bringing uh, any kind of seeds or livestock or anything, which is what I would really like to have. Okay, they're working on that house. They'll be done with it before long. So time to build up the stone again. Although I am considering maybe we want a well. Can we fit a well? Like right in there. How big is a well? Is that a town service? It is. Oh, that's actually pretty big. And it takes 40 stone. Okay, well, we're not building that right now. 
Our tailor is done. We've reached the close limit. Do we get rid of the tailor? Or do we make more clothes and try to trade them? Let's just make more clothes. Whoa, 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 okay, hold on. That's a little overzealous. These these clickies clicky buttons are strange to me. Sometimes a bit much. If we go from fifty to one fifty with one click, that's 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 a lot. That's a whole lot. Iron limit and coal limit. How are we doing on coal? Do we not have any coal? Was I supposed to prospect or something? I mean, is there like no coal in the spot or will they eventually get coal? I don't know. I hope I hope we get coal out of that. I hope I haven't misplaced it. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Slow down. Stop for a second. Let's put our farmers back on duty. Yeah, we want corn. Okay. Yeah. I never think to click on this button because it's dark. And I'm used to not clicking on things that are grayed out. Because I assume it can't. Okay. So, yeah. We got, like, two laborers now. Um, well, we don't need that many woodcutters, so I can reduce those guys. Um, blacksmith, brewer, tailor, vendor... I want to leave our two miners on duty. I think that's about all we can do. Okay, let's get it going again. Well, what's wrong with you? Cold and finding someplace warm. Why are you cold? Visiting the herbalist. Because you're not healthy? Okay. And what's the matter with you? You're visiting the work... Oh! Why are these people not healthy? Did I miss a... She's not healthy or happy. Herbalist. Let's put an herbalist back on duty here, because I don't get what's going on. Why are people suddenly un unhealthy? Oh god, don't die. What's going on with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go visit the herbalist. Get get well. They're not picking up this medicine here. Huh. Okay. I'm a little concerned about that. I don't quite know what's going on. Uh, why they're sick and not doing something about it. That's concerns. Concerns me a little bit. We've got all our people dying of old age over here and aren't graduating many students. We do have a, a big bulk of students ready to come soon. I probably left growth off for a little too long. We still have no coal for some reason. Okay, now they're using the medicine. That actually went down, so there must have been some kind of thing over here. No. No, I, I don't see, like, that there is some sort of general illness problem. Um, did I not have enough firewood for them? No, there was never a warning about that. Okay, well, we'll chalk that one up to a mystery unless somebody happens to have an answer. Feel free to leave a comment letting me know what the heck I did wrong to cause people to get sick. But hopefully they're getting better. They've certainly grabbed some medicine. And now we can have two herbalists? I don't think we can spare an extra person to be an herbalist, so we're just going to have one herbalist for now. These guys would be happier with a road, wouldn't they? I've totally forgotten about building you guys a road over here. Okay. How about a road like that? And then put it out from... Hmm. Yeah, 
put it out like that. And then maybe we can fit a couple houses in here. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to build, I think, wooden houses, though, because we can't really... Can't really afford the stone. Can we fit another house in here like this? Yeah, we can, actually. We can put... There. Big housing development. We're going to get that done. It's going to take a lot of people, which we don't have. But let's see, can we skimp somewhere? Let's skimp on a vendor. Skimp on a trader, because I don't even know what those buggers are doing over there. Skimp on a woodcutter. And let's get that done real quick. How are you doing, herbalist? Are you making herbs? Or making medicine or whatever? Okay, we got another laborer. That's good. See what these kids are doing. Yeah, they're taking care of the removal, so that's good. So we'll get four new houses up there. Man, another laborer crushed by a rock. That's a dangerous. We're gonna have to get the health inspectors over here. What are you guys doing? All right, You're causing me to go all big government on you. Here comes our trader very, very slowly. Poor Rihanna the laborer, crushed by a rock. How many grave sites do we have left? We're going to need a new graveyard. Hmm, where do we put it? By the town hall, maybe? Put kind of a big one here? Could do. But let's see what this trader's got for us. Pecan seeds. Um, didn't I buy pecan seeds? Oh, no, I requested them. Yes. Yes, I did. So, he doesn't want anything but iron tools and firewood. You must trade an additional 20... 2,500? Whoa. I don't think we can get there. No, we can't even afford that crap. 2,500 for some pecan seeds? What? What is that? That's madness. Well, sorry, dude. I can't afford that. That's crazy. What What would be of a high enough value? I mean, why don't I sell you some peach seeds for a good deal? Like, you know, say 3200 or something like that? I mean, what the hell? Okay, well, I don't know, but we're not buying his pecan seeds as much as I'd like to have some pecan pie this fall. What a... You crazy, man. That ain't gonna happen. Alright, uh, I think we can get our builders working over here. Let's do that. I'm gonna leave a laborer on. It's just gonna have to be slow. I mean, I could temporarily, like, jack the tailor and blacksmith and stuff, but let's not do that. Our herbalist is all good. You go be a builder for a while. Because we need that. Pecans? Oh my god, how much are cows? I, I mean, <laughs> that's that's whack. I don't know if we're going to be getting any variety in our diet if it's all going to be that expensive. We really need to stock up a lot of crap then. Um, the iron tools seem like the best value. Iron tools and ale are the are sort of the thing that we have the most ability to get money out of. No, nobody even wants any fish. So, is that going to go bad over here? I mean, I guess the thing is we can get a lot of fish, and so it is worth 500 if they'll take it, though. The market's got 1,200 fish. It seems like that's most of our food, is fish. Fish and corn. How much are hide coats? Oh, no. Let's just put 20 of those over there and see how much those things are worth. You think they might be worth a little bit of money? What's you? Yeah, we're going to turn off work on the herbalist there. We've got plenty of firewood. 
How much is firewood worth over here? Is it worth anything? Oh, it doesn't show us the value. There we go. The value is four. That's not bad. Okay. We still don't have any coal from our mine. But then again, I think I only have... No, okay, I do have two miners over here. Okay, we're getting these houses built. Are you guys going to be miners? Foresters, blacksmith? Blacksmith? Why are you living all the way over here? Alright, we're getting that, getting that done. Cool, alright, well... I think that's about it for the episode, guys. Um, I guess next time... We're just going to have to keep trying to grow and build up our trade stockpile so we can actually get some other stuff. Um, I did not realize that that seeds were going to cost that much. So it's going to be probably a little while before we can build up enough trade goods to get that. I want to see what these hide coats are worth, though. Did they make it over here? Uh, oh, they're worth 15. Yeah, okay. All right. So we just have to find out what is tradable for good money. Maybe steel tools will be worth something. Now that we have a mine, can we make steel tools? No, because we don't have any coal. So we're still waiting on coal. All right, well, next time around, hopefully we'll get some coal. If not, we may have to build another mine somewhere else. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me for Banish. Bye.